So the warm-up on beam always begins with kicks. And we do them front to back, side to side. They do 20 kicks on each leg, right and left. And they do them in releve, and they do them fast. And this is to prevent um, the hip flexor and hamstring pulls that tend to happen on beam. Our complex on beam, I change, I would say, probably every six to eight weeks just to break the monotony. But I like to keep it long enough that it, it has an impact. And it usually starts with jump ropes. And we do all kinds of different things with the jump ropes. Um, the basic is just the jumping the rope. And we'll have, like, say, a two-minute jump rope. We've done up to five, which is very lengthy. When you start off, you may want to start with 30 seconds to a minute because it's it's a coordination movement, a body alignment, a focus. It has so many wonderful purposes. Robin, both heels need to be high. Don't roll out on the left foot. Keep it inside. Inner thighs. Inner thighs. Good, Jace. Good, Amanda. Stomach. Lower stomach. Time your arm swing with your push. Stomach. Way up, Robin. Way up. Don't do those baby. Same as floor. Don't teeter. Don't teeter on the back kick. Keep your chest still. Squeeze. Chest and just leg. That's better. Squeeze me in inner thighs. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. Good. Hold. Shoulder. Shoulders down. That right shoulder's down lower than the left shoulder. Yes. Hold. One one thousand, two one thousand. Up, Robin. Hold the one one thousand, two one thousand in relevé. Hold. Ooh, good effort, Amanda. Hold. Ah. Keep your shoulders behind your hips slightly. Keep them back. Keep them back. Keep them back. But but under under. Hold arms, Robin. Don't let that right arm come out of whack there. Discipline the right arm. Hold 
Uh-huh. See? See what it wants to do? Open to crown. Crown. All right. A little better. Your angle is just slightly forward. I always finish it then with, I have a thing on beam of handstand step-ins and handstand lunges. On the connections for so many elements, whether it's um, all acro or gym acro or whatever, the connection process, which is a very quick step-in, squeeze your inner thighs. Um, you know, we just have a certain way of doing it, and they know that. And we usually have like five, back, five handstand step-ins, five handstand lunges, which... At my gym, I have a little version of our lunge. Everybody around the country, you see different versions. It's not that one is right and wrong. Just know what you're going to have and make sure that your athletes know that that's the way you want it done. Because beam is a matter of consistency. So as long as, if you come up with your arms narrow and press wide or you come up with your arms wide, as long as they know where they're supposed to be every single time. So then we do the back handspring step in and the back handspring lunges and then we go. Pretty much we've done enough jumping, we've done enough turn position, passe of some sort, and we've done our tumbling. So they can a lot of times just do a cold set right out of that, even at the elite level, because we've done enough things in our complex to be ready to go. Hold. Good. But here again, you're at the time of the season. What do I, what do I want to prepare for? If we're close to competition, I want them to be able to go on a floor, do a routine like you would at a meet, or do it on a line, and then get up and go. And then after maybe the first set, then I may do a, I do a variety of different things. Um, we do back-to-back -back routines, which are great, where they mount, do the routine, and then start again without the mount, do the routine and then do the dismount. So it's a mount, dismount, but there's two routines in the middle. What is the purpose? The purpose is to build the endurance at the end of the routine. Sometimes we'll do double dismount routines where you do a full set, then you do two dismounts. Um, we do tumbling routines where you do your mount, your flight series, your gym acro, maybe you have a front, your bonus, and then your dismount. You do it in the order that they're in the routine. We'll do three to five of those. Stomach. Arms. Good, Jace. Good arms. Robin, remember the second leg, okay? The second leg, you don't want to just let it come down. You want to place it where you want it. And... Up. That's right. Good, Robin. Much better. Good. Posture, good, that's right. I want to see that look. Got your pad. Hold. Oops. <laughs> that probably didn't feel good. Good, Amanda. Think about, Jace, this part that we worked so hard on of, of lifting the chest. And, no, do, do the um, land and now. Right. Try 
stuff like something like that. Mm -hmm. Arms. Good. Stomach. I smell food. Movements that are helpful, Robin. Good job. Very nice. Hold. Bend, 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 bend. All right. Ten backs. Hold. Up. Good. Stomach. Arms, arms. Robin, you got to give it all the way to the end. Chest, 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 up. Arms. Get it to your head. All right. Stomach up. Hold. I like your arms better. Okay, now let's work posture through here. Shoulders back and settle and hold. Okay, repeat that element. Robin, go up there and repeat that back handspring. Quarter. Now, squeeze your rear end. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. All right. Up. Okay. You know what? It's somebody cooking something. I think it's one of those lean cuisine dinner things. Now, jump. A little better. Good vertical takeoff. Press. Hold. All right. Good job. Good job. All right, Robin. Long movements down the beam. Long. Long. Okay. Okay. All right. That, just that little bit of this off the beam is what gives you that over rotation. You still, your body does not understand that it can rotate with your head still just doing this. Don't you feel that urgency to throw your head? Good. I like the look much better. Good job. Hold. Robin, you're settling in better. Up. Nice job, Amanda. Hold. Good. Mm -mm. Got a nose pierce. Hold. Chest. Chest, chest, arms. Good. Arms, position. Up, up, up. Get out of it right away, Robin. Now lift, roll away. Up, good. Good. Hold. Robin, repeat. 
Lean back. Stay back on the landing. Stay back. Up. Sorry. Stiffer arms and tighter rear end. Hold. Up. All right. Tight rear end. Rear end. Rear end. Dang it. Go again. Make your body get bigger instead of smaller. Hold. Now get tall. Squeeze your rear end. You're, you know what you're doing? You're going around the side. Can't you feel that? You know why, how you're landing? You're landing on this side of the beam. You're not bringing it up over the top. Now bring it over the top. Better. Good. It's all right. Robin, that wolf jump back handspring quarter it seems to be a mental error. Yeah. Strong and push back. Push back. Better, better, better. I just, like, this, the last back handspring needs to feel like it goes turn over. Rise, double back. It goes hit, double back. Watch. Hold, hold. All right, good job. See what, like, you see, you see her legs push through, her ankles push through, then she does a double back. You kind of hit here and go double back. And because you flip fast is why you're able to make it. Hold, and. Ah, do it again, that was a choker. There you go. Okay, Robin. Hold. Nice. Wow, we buddy. She's so bad. She used to do that with so much static every time she would land. I told her to be like a pig in the mud. I like that. Fall into the cement there. Huh? And a little difficulty on that. JC, your chest, go again. When you're punching the board, your chest is out, okay? So the position can never get right. If your chest is in when you hit the board, you get a nice, more rounded position. Hold. Good, Robin. Almost no arms. Smooth. Good. And up. Watch that left arm. Hold. Squeeze. All right, a little better. Chest in. Up. All right, no face, no facial expression. Good. Ah, stop your arms. Robin, don't make faces. Shoulders back. Ah. When you land, feel the lift. 
Left. All right. Hold. Come on, Robin. Feel the push through. Push. Hold. Bend. Bend, you landed totally straight-legged. You got a little too much um, forward momentum, so you're making an adjustment by doing that with your arms. So, arms, good. Correct it more on the lift, with your chest in. Arms, left arm. Good. There it is. Good job. Better, Robin. Chest, chest, chest. Good. Shoot. Shoot. Robin, that is better. Back foot a little higher, Chase. Stomach and lift. Good. Nice job. Hold. Well, that full turn is the hardest part in her beamer turn. Jump. Good. Push. Good. Okay. Mount was gorgeous. The other front had that weird little hand thing. What are those legs straight for? Pull it down. Hip down, hip down, right hip. Nice, Robin. I know you thought about it. Should I or shouldn't I? Let's not, since we're getting towards the end. And up. Right. Head. Good one. Good. Strong arms. Little bend. Posture. Keep it. Up. Okay. Chest in on the takeoff. Lift in the chest. Lift. Hold. All right. Good. Oh my gosh. Push back, Robin. Bend. Hold. Oh. Pulling too hard at the end. That was pretty good at vertical. Look, I don't know where I am. Did you brain fart there for a second? <laughs>
Good vertical takeoff. Press. Hold. All right. Good job. Good job. All right, Robin. Long movements down the beam. Long. Long. Okay, okay. All right. That, just that little bit of this off the beam is what gives you that over rotation. You still, your body does not understand that it can rotate with your head still just doing this. Don't you feel that urgency to throw your head? Good. I like the look much better. Good job. Hold. Robin, you're settling in better. Up. Nice job, Amanda. Then we'll go back to the beam. We'll do the dance set. We'll do without. Um, you can however you want to do it. I do my dance sets have everything but gym acro and flight pants and dismount in it. And so then we'll do a couple of those. Then we do arm sets on beam also. On the beam and in front of the mirror where they have the arm weights on. They stand in a demi plie or a releve and they do their whole routine. Makes them very arm aware which I think is a lot of the key to consistency on beam is that you know where and what your arms are doing at all times. Discipline your arms right from the beginning. Set them in the position you want to keep them in. That's better. Yeah. 